ஃபஸ்ட் வில் ஸ்டடி அபவுட் ஹம்ஃப்ரி டேவி ஹம்ஃப்ரி டேவி ஹி அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் தட் இலெக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் கேன் பி பாஸ் த்ரூ லிக்விட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹி ஆல்சோ ப்ரூவ்ட் தட் த பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் இட் ஹேஸ் டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் சார்ஜஸ் தட் இஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் அண்ட் நெகட்டிவ் ஹி வாஸ் ஆல்சோ ஏபிள் டு ஐசோலேட் சம் எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தியர் காம்பவுண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பொட்டாஷியம் கால்சியம் சோடியம் மெக்னீஷியம் ஸ்ட்ரான்ஷியம் பேரியம் அண்ட் போரோன் குட் பி எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்டட் ஃப்ரம் இட்ஸ் காம்பவுண்ட் பை பாசிங் எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி ஸோ தட் வாஸ் த ஃபைண்டிங் ஆஃப் ஹம்ஃப்ரி டேவி ஸோ வாட் ஹீ டிட் இஸ் ஹீ ஃபவுண்ட் அவுட் தட் எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி குட் பி பாஸ் த்ரூ லிக்விட்ஸ் He also found out there are two types of charges that is positive and negative and these char- charges are enabling the substances to take part in chemical reaction and he could also isolate some elements from their compounds. Next is the work of Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday along with Humphrey Davy try to pass electricity through liquids itself and he could isolate or separate the constituents from a liquid that is you have studied children what is the name for passing electricity through a liquid and decomposing it into its components yes it is called as electrolysis so it was michael faraday who gave us the law of electrolysis but the findings of the two scientists that is humphrey davy and michael faraday failed because there was no experimental proof for them to explain their ideas later an eminent scientist j j thompson j j thompson he conducted the discharge tube experiment discharge tube experiment so what is a discharge tube it is a hollow tube it is a hollow glass tube filled with a gas at very low pressure almost a tube like this and it is having an opening like this here a vacuum pump is fixed and there are two electrodes electrodes and all you have studied last year that is these electrodes are connected to an external high power battery here we have a high power battery high power battery so that which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery is the negative electrode and that which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery is the positive electrode this is called the cathode and this is called the anode so what j j thompson did is he passed electricity through gases under very low pressure and he found the presence of some rays colored rays passing from the cathode to the anode it was generated from the cathode and it was moving to the anode he did this experiment using different gases and he found that all gases contain the same particle and it was called as the electron so it was j j thompson who discovered electron and he also found that these negatively charged particles are present in the atom it is also present in all substances and it is smaller than the atom so he proved that the negative particles are present in an atom so the credit of discovery of electrons goes to j j thompson after j j thompson rutherford 
he did experiment by using a gold foil so what rutherford did is he tried to strike using positive rays on very thin atoms he tried to produce thin foils which are very very thin that is having the size of some atoms only width of some atoms only you have earlier studied malleability what is malleability the ability by which metals can be made into thin sheets are called as malleability and which is the most malleable metal yes it is gold we have aluminum foils at home which is used for covering food materials same way gold also can be beaten into very thin sheets so what rutherford did is he allowed alpha particles alpha particles are positive particles generated from radioactive substances like radium so he allowed alpha particles to fall on thin golden sheet now let me represent the golden sheet like this a few thickness atoms having a few thickness these are representing atoms now when he hit the gold foil with alpha particles that is having positive charge he observed that most of the alpha particles passed through the foil and this proved that major part of the atom is empty but a very few particles they were deflected back or they rebounded back a very few particle what is the charge of the alpha particle it is positive this positive if it should be deflected it must be going and striking on another positive particle so he proved that in an atom there are very minute space which contain positive charge and these positive charge were later known as protons these positive charged particles were later known as protons so it was rutherford who discovered protons so rutherford he discovered protons and he also he proved that inside the atom this very minute space is called the nucleus and the protons are present in the nucleus so hope you have understood electrons and protons electrons are negative charged particles which were discovered by j j thomson protons are positive charged particles discovered by rutherford now we'll go to the studies of the next scientist that is james chadwick james chadwick he did his experiments with the support of rutherford and he found the presence of chargeless particles in the nucleus of the atom and these chargeless particle he found it in the nucleus along with the proton so protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus of the atom now let us conclude what we have studied till now we have understood proton electrons and neutrons the protons are present inside the nucleus where are the electrons seen they are seen outside the nucleus and the neutrons are seen inside the nucleus now what is the charge of the proton proton is positive in charge electron is yes negative in charge and neutron is chargeless 
Now let us study about the mass of these subatomic particles. Now the mass of the proton is almost equal to that of a hydrogen atom. Almost equal to that of a hydrogen atom. Then the mass of the neutron also is almost equal to that of a hydrogen atom. Now we will see the mass of an electron. It is very negligible that is it is only 1 by 1837 the mass of a hydrogen atom. So, look here the mass of a proton and neutron are equal to that of hydrogen atom, but the mass of an electron is very negligible it is only 1 by 1837 part of a hydrogen atom. So, which are the particles having mass in an atom? It is the proton and neutron. We do not consider the mass of the electron because, because it is very 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 less. Now let us see the name of the discoverers proton who discovered proton it was Rutherford who discovered proton electron J. J. Thomson. and neutron James Chadwick. So, children hope you have understood till here.